Good morning from Marula camp. Morning guys, it's about 4.30. Uh, it's our first early, early morning. It's a bit windy, but we're going to see what we can see. Uh, very excited. It's our first proper morning drive. Uh, we'll, take you, we'll take you guys with us. Enjoy. Enjoy. Bye. We are here at Timbavati picnic spot. We are going to have a quick cuppa and some rusks. And it's quite cold this morning. It's raining. Not the hottest of mornings, warmest of mornings. No, it's quite cold. But uh, we are hungry. Yeah, very. So we're stopping at the quietest, quietest Timbavati I have ever seen. I've never seen Timbavati this um, quiet. We are the only car here at Timbavati. But uh, I think it's fairly self explanatory why it is so quiet. <laughs> Not the best weather so to come for a picnic. We're gonna grab a coffee and a rust quickly and then we're gonna head off again uh, on our way to Sitara. <laughs> We heard some parrots here, yeah? just checking it out. That was not the most pleasant picnic or coffee stop under the sun. The coffee was lacquer. The coffee was lacquer, but we got a little bit rained on. I think that was the quickest coffee stop we've ever had in the park. Absolutely. Um, but we are headed to Satara. For a slash pop. For a hot chocolate. We just had such a lovely wild dog sighting. They came running down the road and we turned around quickly and we followed them for about 10 kilometers. Basically, yeah. And we were the only car for the majority of the way. Uh, we are on the S127 on our way to Sitara, just past the Timbavati picnic site. And it was a brilliant, brilliant sighting. They, were, they looked quite playful on the hunt, maybe. They looked quite hungry, but uh, yeah, it's a brilliant sighting. Are they as hungry as you are? I doubt it. <laughs> we'll get some grub in Sedora, okay? And a slash popping. And a hot chocolate. <laughs> we have arrived at Sedora. Had a lacquer drive this morning. It was nice. 
Yeah, brilliant. It's uh, cold, but it, cold the weather's windy. picked up now again. Yeah, cold and windy, but uh, the wild dogs truly made oh, it worthwhile. That was such a special, was a brilliant sighting. special sighting. We spent so long with them, it was really special. We are here at Tara, we can grab some grub and check out their new deck. Rikus, I thought you were going to have a slush puppy. What happened? I wanted one. <laughs> and you wanted our chocolate, so we compromised and we got our chocolate. <laughs> you make me seem so mean. I did not. You ordered this. I did. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Hello. Are you coming to join us? Are you begging? finished a lovely little snack <laughs> at Satora and we were off to our next drive. Back at camp here yeah, at Marula. It's quite windy today. Sun's come out a little bit, but it's still raining, or not really raining, we call it quecha, where it's these fine little drizzles. Um, Rikus and my dad are busy hunting far throated a palis. We heard it here in the bush, so we're busy hunting it. Check if we can find it. I keep on saying that we are hunting things. I just want to clarify that we want to shoot it with a camera, not anything else. So we are busy hunting this apalis. So let's check if we can find it. Rikus, why are you all staring at a tree? Have you found the apalis yet? No. Why not? No. <laughs> Why haven't you found it yet? Because it's yay big and big bush. Did you find it? I found it. So we're on our way for a lacquer afternoon drive. The wind is still quite strong, so I don't know if birding is going to be too good in this wind, but let's hope so. And let's hope we see some other cool things. Right guys, so uh, we are at a lion sighting, about seven or eight lions uh, on a zebra kill and at this very moment uh, a herd of elephants also arrived, so uh, this is about to get interesting, let's see what happens.
a lot of drama going on at the moment. Um, this car parked us first while the elephants were on our way, on their way to us. They are a bit agitated because the lions are right there. So they interrupted the lion's kill. We'll see what happens. So that was actually such a scary encounter. Elephant, we were in quite a traffic jam, so we were parked fast and we were trying to get the people to move behind, um, the people behind us to move, and they didn't want to move, and elephants were coming towards us, and the lions ran away from the elephants. So it was quite nerve wracking, but the elephants luckily moved off. And uh, a, a little bus, apparently without the reverse gear, stopped behind us and a very big and strong driver thought he can take on the elephants um, yeah he luckily, made it this time luckily nobody was injured we just have a healthy respect for elephants and we think everybody in the park should also Cheers. Cheers. What's cooking? Good looking? So uh, we have some chops and some pork sausage we're going to enjoy tonight with some uh, beetroot and my mother-in-law's proper pasta salad. Pasta! Pasta! <laughs> We've got about five, six hyena here at camp tonight. Quite crazy. Sad that they were yeah, actually because that means people have been feeding them. But still quite cool to see them. Two young ones feels like the whole day is here tonight. Right guys, so we are at the end of our day. We, uh, we had a very successful day, the weather was quite interesting, but we had, uh, we had proper wild dog sightings and we ended up with a lion sighting on a kill. So uh, I think all in all a day to, to talk about and then uh, if nothing else exciting happens, uh, ex except for our braai, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Cheers. Thank you for watching day three of our Kruger adventure. If you have enjoyed our very exciting day, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on our 20 day Kruger trip. If we have identified any bird incorrectly, drop us a comment. We are always willing to learn. Thank you for watching Stay with Stacy. We will see you in the next vlog. That's a yellow bull. That's so cool. How amazing is that? Oh, hey, it's just, it's just, come on, get out of there so we can see you. Blue X-Boss, whatever.